welcome, bienvenue. The ever-increasing interest in world cultures has revealed the dance as an international language of great eloquence. <laughs> Kurt Sachs, the famous author of A World of Dance, wrote, to call the dance one of the forms of art is not sufficient to explain it in all its richness, that it is a limitation to include the dance as one of the arts, for it is the greatest of all arts, oldest of all arts, mother of all arts. And the legendary Ted Shan of Jacob Spilo added, the dance is more satisfying than any other kind of movement because the dance is the language of the soul, of the emotions. Why is rhythm so satisfying? Why do we get more joy, release, and pleasure out of work or play when it is rhythmic? Because rhythm is the order of the universe, <coughs> the very basic process of the universe. All of these considerations bring us to the subject at hand, a performance of the New York Baroque Dance Company in association with the Dallas Black Dance Theater, Soiree Baroque and Haiti. At this time, I would like you to take with me an imaginary trip to the Caribbean, to the island of Haiti, my homeland, the first black republic in the Western Hemisphere, a small country but historically a great nation. Dance to the indigenous Asians is not merely for entertainment, but also for a purpose, to communicate and pay homage to the master god and to a lesser degree to the ancestral deities as well. Among the country people, singing, dancing, and drumming are part of everyday life. These dances were brought to the island with slavery when their forefathers were forcibly torn from their homeland, Africa, to become slaves in the New World. These dark-skinned men and women, although condemned to a life of servitude, kept alive in their hearts memories of their homeland, its customs and its traditions, and at nightfall, they would gather together on the plantations and filled with thoughts of home, they would sing and dance to the rhythm of the drums. They fought their masters to the rhythm of the drums and they won their freedom to the rhythm of the drums. On the plantations, when the masters were entertaining guests in their sumptuous balls, the servants would be watching laughing underneath, getting a big kick out of their stiff neck, straight back, sophisticated attitude and posture in dancing their quadrille, the minuet, the contredance, etc. On the other hand, on the weekends, the slaves were permitted to use their drums to sing and dance to the amusement of the masters. They would dance the Congo, Koi, Juba, Kalenda, Azaka, etc., with typical strong shoulders, hips, and sensuous pelvic movements. Although very fascinating in the eyes of the masters, these movements appear uncivilized and indecent. So, this is what would have been heard and seen in French Haiti in, of the 1790s. The cultural heritage of present-day Haiti is a combination of these two main elements, African, which is predominant, and French. French is today the official language of Haiti, and many contemporary folk dances show that they were once an imitation of the French court dances of the 18th century. For the African, however, those dances and drum rhythms were not forgotten after the revolution and they are still performed in the countryside today. With your permission, through the magic of the theater, we are going to take a giant step back in time and history. Returning to 1790, before the revolution of the slaves, which gave Haiti its freedom in 1804. This heroic act 
This remarkable achievement has never been sufficiently recognized nor honored. Considered as one of the greatest feats in human history, enslaved African men and women driving the French masters to the sea, defeating the mighty army of General Napoleon Bonaparte to create a new nation. This monumental achievement was a powerful inspiration to enslave and colonize African people everywhere, including those of the United States of America. We Haitians and Haitian Americans are extremely grateful to the trustees, producers, and artists of this soirée by Organic. It is with great honor that we welcome the concept of this presentation, which commemorates this historic event. In having the vision to bring to fruition this culturally moving and fine artistic program, we are all reaffirming that dance as an art form has no time nor social boundary. Therefore, we hope and believe that a better understanding among the peoples of the world, a true brotherhood among men can be achieved through a mutual and more profound appreciation of people's culture as expressed in their music, their song, their dance, and their arts in general. Thank you. Thank you.